Today we're out at Fowler and Bearden Farms in Friendship, Arkansas, and I have John Michael and Rachel Bearden. Um, they are our nominees for Young Farmers and Ranchers Excellence in Ag. Guys, thank you so much for having us out. I first wanted to know, how did your operation get started? What's the history behind the farm? This farm has been in my family. I'm the seventh generation that's been here. Okay. We've been here longer than Arkansas has been a state. We're a cow-calf <laughs> operation. When John Michael and I got married, yeah. we got started doing this. We got started with some heifers out of my dad's herd. Since then, we have bought our own section of the family farm. Mm -hmm. We're a cow-calf operation as well. We also have a small acreage of timber. John Michael has a large hay business. We raised a few performance horses, and we started doing the sheep business. For me, at college, it was like a switch went off. Mm -hmm. And being able to be a part of SAU Farm and work on that farm taught me that this is what I wanted. And uh, we, I was able to grow and learn through college. And when me and Rachel started dating and we started building our own place, we knew this is where we needed to be and this is what we wanted. And we're glad that we get to raise our daughter to get to do the same things that I was lucky enough to be raised to do. And she gets to grow up in this world on the family farm as well. She, what are, what are y'all's roles on the farms? What does that look like responsibility wise? For me, I take care of most of the feeding, the hay on the cow side. Um, we kind of tag team the cow-calf operation and making sure herd management. She's looking at the cows, I'm looking at the grass, seeing where we're at. Um, and then we've dove off into the sheep and kind of she takes care of the day-to-day -day stuff, but we're both all the time out there working with them, learning. And Lacey Grace is our boss. Yeah. <laughs> she, Lacey Grace will be two in August. <laughs> yeah. And she goes with us all the time. She rides in the front seat and likes to call them. Oh, does she? And she tells the horses where they're supposed to be in their stalls. <laughs> and she's right there for 100% of it and loves it and tells us what we're doing wrong most of the time. I love that. That's awesome. So speaking of that, I mean, family is obviously very important. Um, what's outside of that? What's your favorite part of agriculture? What's your favorite part of doing all this? For me, it is bringing others in to see it. He has an ag teacher and her as an ag agent, we're all the time having kids out here at the farm, teaching them the value of hard work, working with animals, and what that looks like. I think agriculture is not just our jobs. It's what we do every day. And when you look at the world and the people that are involved in agriculture, I think the society needs more of those kind of people. When you look at folks that are involved in agriculture, they're folks who value family. They value hard work. They know you get into it what you, you get out of it what you put into it. And that you have to do a hard day's work to get those results that you want. And I think that's one of the things that I love most about my day job is what we do. And we're helping other people do what we do and getting more people involved in that lifestyle because agriculture is a lot more than just a day job. It's a way of life. 